Shout out to Darman for having the most realistic piece of policing I've seen so far. Hey, uh, how do I say this in Spanish? Uh, you uh, speak a the uh, come over to me. I I don't know. This is this is some next level ignorance that we're perpetrating here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, Producer Juan has two cents for that. Hey, welcome back to Only Cops. Uh, we are back with Darman. We're back. This is Darman number two. So again, it's Josh and Bill here with Officers React. We're going to be doing this I week. Hate this. Mom calls cops on Mexican neighbors. She instantly regrets it. How do you She's feel? Surprised. How do you feel with this title? I'm ready to be oppressed here. I'm ready for it. I appreciate you capitalizing on the national narrative that apparently I'm oppressed because of my nationality and ethnicity. So let's go. We'll go with it. All right. We'll play it. Come right Can't to, wait to see this. Yeah, come right to man with us on this. So. I didn't realize this home got sold already. Yeah, just last week. Oh, great! I'm Candace, by the way. Well, that must be your Porsche. Oh, yeah. I work on cars for a living, so I can appreciate a nice ride when I see one. Oh! Says the man with the Mustang. I mover, but you're a mechanic. Well, I guess laborers take on a lot of jobs. Wow. Well, anyway, are they inside? Ooh. The new homeowners, silly. <laughs> I want to meet them. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Hector. Nice to meet you. Um, Man, that like hand. visible. Oh. I'm say this in Spanish. Um, <laughs> el come honors es aquí. What? <laughs> Perfectly fine. Thanks. Pussies. <laughs> We've seen this. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, I've never personally experienced that level of overt oh, racism. I was going to say, we've seen this between... I've seen this between people. people. I will say this. I, I don't know. This is this is some next level ignorance that we're perpetrating here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, producer Juan has two cents for that. Anyone ever seen... Hey, uh, how do I say this in Spanish? Uh, you uh, speak a hey, the uh, come over to me. And she's almost well, sounded like French. He's been speaking perfectly fine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I don't get it. Anyways, so. I, I just closed escrow. <laughs> is she laughing at the comment of I closed come escrow? On. This is a really expensive neighborhood. A laborer like you couldn't afford a place like this. I'm not. Hello. Hi, I'm Candace. Bro, Candace is so <laughs> savage. Uh. No, no, I'm not. Actually, Hector is. Hey, boss, I gotta get going. Do you need anything That's else? That's the real estate nope. agent. Yep. All good. As a matter of fact, here's a little sum extra for your hard work. Oh, Great job. Bro. Thank you so Boy, much. Boy, tipped him a Benji there, there. dang. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> no, you're just a racist. No, you're just racist. Yeah. <laughs> but how? Well, God. I guess you can say things aren't. It's a pause. I will say this: this lady's absolutely killing it with the mannerisms, but. Wow. Maybe, like her, hey, ugh. maybe he's got a rich husband just like she does. Exactly. Uh, either way, Candace, you're killing the game here with just laying it on thick. Right. <laughs> well, don't act like you own the place. I'm sure you're just renting. Whatever you say. He just closed hey, look, I gotta escrow. He just closed escrow, <laughs> yeah. No one closes escrow mm. renting. <laughs> She just live in this outfit? She just has one outfit? Yep, one outfit. She's cleaning one dish. Yeah. And we both need to be really careful. There's just something suspicious about him. Oh, really? Seemed like everyone I met seemed really nice. Everyone. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Who's everyone? Well, I don't know. I, I think they're having some sort of like get together. In the front yard, so I bet. Full of people outside. <laughs> so in the front yard, I bet. See that? Great thing. Is she gonna cry? I'm gonna go over there and find out what's going on. She's so mad she's gonna cry. She's gonna I cry. Whoa. As your kid's drinking a bottle I'm... of apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> even look at his face, even he's disgusted. He's, he's like, like You're my mom? He's like, Dang, mom. I'm screwed. He's like, Okay, boomer. And so look at that's what that face says. You think that maybe I could take the Porsche tonight? Well, that's your concern right now? I really want to impress her. Absolutely not. Can't even believe you would ask me that. How dare you, young Yeah, we're, we're leasing that Porsche. Is that? Whoa. Hector! Oh, you remember his name? I thought he only, I thought oh. only spoke Spanish. Why are, you, why are you yelling at him in English? Oh, look, they're in the hey. front yard. Something wrong? Yeah. Did you invite your whole gang over here? <laughs> gang? These are my cousins. Hey, primo, <laughs> say 
What's up to my new neighbor? Hi. What's up? Where's Alec? I like how they're all his guys holding Pacifica. <laughs> Come on, <Della. laughs> Darman, you know what you're what doing. What do you expect? You know what you're doing. You're wrong for that. So has anyone else figured out that Darman's like a super racist? He, he's perpetrated some very serious stereotypes going on here. I, I know we're probably not the first ones to probably point this out, but like... Oh, clearly by the comments we are. This is this is problematic. We're the only people that don't like this. Yeah, this is pretty problematic, but we'll, we'll keep going here. No, I think the most racist thing about this is the idea that for a housewarming celebration... You do in the front yard. Well, not just that, but he could only scrounge up three of his cousins Seriously. to show up. That's, that's BS. No, no associated friends. Okay, well... No I'm, kids. I'm going to argue with you on the front yard thing, because it happens on my street every weekend. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm totally okay with it in the front yard. I'm totally do that. It's just only three friends. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. Dude, you would have like four families and like a sorry yeah. and like a yeah. sorry little boombox. Like, yeah. come on, no, you got the, the whole band. You'd and, have the mariachi you know, band. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This dude is in that neighborhood with that house. He can afford a mariachi That's band. That's what I mean. He can afford catering. He can yeah. afford having like I'm folding offended. tables out front. I'm they mean. should be offended that that he only offered them like one beer a piece and not like some food. In his tiny little boombox. That's what I mean. There's no Bro. barbecuing going uh, on. Like, I don't understand. Those guys over there, they look like troublemakers to me. <laughs> not at all. These guys do very well for themselves. See the one on the left? He's in the restaurant business, and the one in the middle. He's in the Modella boys. And the one on the right right here, he sells alcohol. Oh, so selling tacos and being <laughs> a farmer. He's not a farmer. He a grows weed. Hey, he grows weed. Come on now. Well for you. <laughs> no. Listen, just keep the music down or I'm calling your landlord. No, even worse, the cops. <laughs> oh, please. Please. Come friend. Come friend. Call the cops. Good. Hey. Just so you know, I'm keeping my eyes on you. So, so, as advice to anybody that's watching Darman videos, uh, you have to eventually start not consenting to the communication. If you're going to call the police and try to file some level of charge, you have to establish that you no longer want that communication and have made some level of effort to A, articulate that, and B, try to avoid that communication. You know what else is funny? He gets to park his 2008 Mustang in his garage and her Porsche has to sit outside. So. That's probably the most savage part of all of it. Yeah, you yeah. know what? You're right. You're right. Also, she... looking at the street and all the street parking, it's not a nice neighborhood. No, absolutely not. Unless those are his three cousins' cars, then maybe. You know what? Then there would be a level like a, you could you could levy a complaint there. Not really. It's that's public the that's, street. Yeah, but that's the front of their houses. So, doesn't matter. I guess you're right. You can park in front of people's houses. I guess you're right. You're right. People do call the police for that. Yeah. Well, but... there's nothing we can really do. It's a public street. Yeah. They're all parked the right way. Yeah. Like this guy's almost on the curb there, though. You talk about okay. too close to Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we'll keep playing. Penny level. We'll keep playing it. I can still hear them. <laughs> oh, she angrily yes, typed 911. Yes, my neighbor's having a big party. And I need you to send the police right away. Right away. Priority Thank three call. You. If that. You'd be lucky to get a drive-by on this. Hey, I'll stop that. And then you just drive off. We used to do that. All right, guys. It's getting late. We all better go. Congrats again, Hector. I'm a new house. Salute. 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 God, dude. They're still drinking the oh, same what? beers. Who would call the cops, man? Oh, man. But she I came about slippers and everything. Hey, officer. That was respectful. Yeah. I turned off the music. Thank yeah. Goodness. You came. These guys are <laughs> blasting music. And I like how both these guys come out holding their gun for a loud noise complaint. <laughs> it's just a comfortable spot to rest your hand, okay? I guess, man. I, I'll apologize for, like, the like resting your hand on, like, the front of your belt. And maybe you're, like, I just put my forearm belt. on my gun. Yeah, it's, it's forearm on your gun. These guys were both still, like... Having a whole wild party... All night. That is a hard wild party. party. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's no party going on over here. Don't believe a word he says. Also, why are there lights on? Are you the owner here, sir? Yes, I am. Uh, I, I just moved in. Uh, no, more like a renter. And when the landlord hears about Regardless. this, he's not going to be happy. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay wait, wait. Sounds civil to me. It? Officer, can I have a second, please? Yeah, sure. 
You just We're going inside and grab. Yes. Well, he or hasn't done anything wrong. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be any party going on here. This is how he got promoted. I'm telling you, that there is something <laughs> so I'm fishy you. going on here. Yeah, it's between your legs. You know, they were looking at <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. My car. My car. My car is gone. What do you mean? Your kid Those took it. Those guys, they stole my car. And now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We didn't steal anything. Fire! I saw you. I saw you checking out my car, and I knew it. People knew there was something going too. on with yeah. you. Yeah. Wait, ma'am, do you have any kind of evidence to prove this? Like, maybe a video or anything? No! I am telling you, I... Darman, having his cops ask obvious questions. I like it. We've never stolen anything in our lives. Look, this is getting ridiculous. I try to be cool. But I'm sick of being stereotyped by you. There I'm you not go, Hector. There it is. Anymore. There you go, Hector. Yeah. You said go that get I can't afford a house in this neighborhood, but actually, I bought this house cash. I, I don't understand. It all makes sense. Because You're a drug dealer. Drug <laughs> there it is. Buy homes in cash. Well, the one cousin actually, does grow weed. When I he told does. You that yeah. I on cars earlier, you assumed I was a mechanic. What a weird flex. But I'm such a weird way to flex. In town, you probably even bought your Porsche off of. You do? Okay, then, well. <laughs> it must have been your cousins. Oh. <laughs> My cousins don't have to steal anything. They're more successful than I am. Oh. <laughs> when I, I know, car dealerships big money. was in the <laughs> restaurant business, you assumed that he was making tacos. But actually, I love the music. he owns the largest chain good. of steak houses in the state. I have the best steaks. Very, My cousin uh, Francisco right steaks. here, he's not a farmer. He Girl, owns sweet. the largest agave plant in Mexico. And his number one client is my cousin Jesus. Who sells who tequila. Doesn't work at a liquor store. <laughs> he manufactures his own tequila. So pause it. So you see this is real hammy. It's kind of what I hate about these type of videos. It's like always like the most cliche possible. Like of course he of course he bought she bought the Porsche off of him and he's super rich and he's gotta like bring out the like closing paperwork for his house to prove that he bought it cash. It's, also, it's, I've never seen closing paperwork that looked like that. Yeah. But. Anyways, it's just Also, weird. Hector, why are you driving a 2008 Ford Mustang? Bro, if you're buying a car in cash, yeah, maybe he's just one of those like really frugal guys. That's why he's got all that cash. Okay, fine. I'll he should that. have a he should have like a Honda Accord if that's that. the case though, but either way, you don't have to like he justify have a family, so. Yeah, and you don't have to go through the point of like justifying what everyone does for a living. It doesn't matter. Like But it's, it's making weird. the point, okay? I guess clearly. <laughs> we'll keep going. Officers, we're not troublemakers. We're very successful entrepreneurs. Wow, that's all very impressive. What? You, you don't believe this? Okay, well, how does... <laughs> oh, the, the disapproving look. I've done that. That was me. Yeah, that's I was about to say, I yeah, yeah. I've made Give that the face. Disapproving look. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I, I would have been like, do you smell that? It smells civil to me. This, yeah, I'm pretty sure this smells civil to me. I think I'll, I think I'll have you guys settle this in a, a municipal court, not waste my time. And I court. would hook her up for filing a false police report. Ooh. It's King Petty, bro. Hey, that I can get behind. That I can get behind. Like, you want to CT warn her from this property? <laughs> you want to? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, we can get King Petty on this. Let's call. find out that the kid took the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, darn man. Where's that twist? Let's see if that kid took the car. Plot Plot twist. Plot now my twist. car is missing. Wait. Isn't that your car right there? Oh, Red shows up right on time. Like he didn't see the police lights? Mikey! Mikey! Mikey. Mom? How'd you not see Mom in the front yard? My car? No. Haha! <laughs> you... Mom, Mom. I thought you were sleeping. Okay, okay, look, look. I can explain. Okay, I, okay, I, I was Mikey. driving on the freeway and I. Get inside the house! You are in big trouble, young man. And hey, maybe Hector Get can fix that windshield for you. Uh, I bet, yeah, since he's the biggest car dealership owner, it's gonna well, look past all the bigotry, bigotry he's been suffering from. Guys, we're gonna get out of your hair now. Thanks. Listen, Hector sorry for the inconvenience, hair. guys. Have a good night. Hey, yeah, I tell you what, though. Shout out to Darman for having the most realistic piece of policing I've seen so far. Where they just leave? Yep. <laughs> it's impressive. Way to go. Way to go, Darman, for doing something remotely <laughs> accurate. Whoa. We'll keep, we'll see how this, this, the rest of this interaction goes down. 
I, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I am so sorry for assuming that you stole my car. That's fine, honestly. We're used to it. We get stereotyped all the time. It sucks, but Sally, it's the world we live in. <laughs> what? Hopefully, it teaches you a valuable Stop! lesson. Stop! Get out of here! I can't wait to read the comments. <laughs> pause! Right the, the, I... Don't pause, play. We'll keep I need going. to finish yeah, this we'll stupid keep video. Going. <laughs> Things aren't always the way they seem. You can make it educational. Can at you the please end. forgive me? Sure. And hey, look, keep the card. We got a great body shop, and we'll take care of that one show for you, okay? Thank you so much. Have a good night. Come on. Let's go. I thought they were leaving. Yeah, I thought they were leaving. They live there now. Thank you for writing to fan with us again. Uh, go check us out. If on... you're still here, yeah. you are a true hero. Yeah, you are a true hero. Give yourself a commendation. And if you liked that video, you get a write-up. Um, <laughs> uh, please like, comment, subscribe, no, share with your friends. Uh, please nothing. watch our other content that's not this I'm out. I quit. cringy. Um, Bill's no longer in the video. Again, check us in quit. TikTok for our skits that we got going on there. Check us on our live stream. Go check us out on Patreon. We have a Patreon there. We have merch available for that. We should have some new merch coming out. Uh, comment for other stuff you guys want us to watch. If, if you it's Darman, I will find you. This this and better I get will this better get like end your YouTube comments. Ten tens of thousands of views for us to do another Darman video. I'm no. not subjecting myself nope. to this unless I see Drill Bro. Not enough. <laughs> so, till next time. I appreciate it. Ready for you, the next ones are like what to do.